Hi, my name is David and welcome to my second Flames of War video. Zooming in again on my most familiar, now familiar, uh, carry bag. And also, I haven't credited the people where I bought this from. Great job, by the way. If you need to get it, go to battlefoam.com. I'm not paid, but I'm telling you, this is probably the best thing I've ever got in terms of Flames of War. Battlefront guys, take heart. Okay, my second army. I did mention in my previous post that I had uh, an American force and a German force. This German force is 1,650 points, late war German grenadier company. I went to easyarmy.com and I got this list from the Atlantic Wall book. As you can see here, number of points, 1,650. And I'll just zoom back out again. Honest. And zooming back out again. To be honest, many of my, much of my force actually comes from the open fire kit. For example, as I zoom in, German objective markers, the various German information markers, as well as the generic dice. Battlefront. Yes, I have these on order and they should be here anytime. So I'm going to walk you through my force. As stated, it's an infantry company and the core of the infantry company is the infantry headquarters right here. And as I zoom in, you can see what I have here. The company commander and two IC right here. The Panzer Shrek team that came with them. And I've augmented them with one section of eight centimeter mortars. The beauty of this with the German force, of course, is that I can take my second in command, who's firing like he's hand solo or something here. As I get a little closer, you can see the guy. A little blurry, but let's just have a look here. Anyway, the two I seek and form a Kampf group, but it can take forces from elsewhere. That's the beauty of the German force. Zooming back out, what we see next is we have three platoons of infantry of seven stands each with a command SMG team with Panzerfaust all the way through. These two are identical. This one, however, is special. Carrying on, as I said, what we have here is unpainted bases, of course, are my pioneers. We'll go and zoom in a little bit there and see some of the detail onto them. It's an infantry platoon, essentially, but I have them organized as I'm zooming here, or focus, excuse me. Oh, focus, focus, here we go. So I end up with three infantry platoons, one of whom are pioneers. They don't have the truck with them, but they have better anti-tank assault, as you uh, may well know. And moving into the support platoons, starting from left to right as we look. Here is a mortar platoon of four 8 centimeter mortars, headquarters, and two spotters. My mortar section that I have with the company headquarters came from this platoon, but I detached them as part of my list, losing a spotter. As you can see, there would be one here, but he's gone. But the advantage is I can use this in any way I wish and probably more for direct fire, direct fire smoke, direct fire HE, and so forth. Next to them, again, brand new, just in the process of being painted, are two heavy machine gun platoons. I have these in mind to back up my infantry. Rate of fire of six times eight is 48 dice, potentially, that they could fire up to their maximum range. Dug in and supported by this crew, the anti-tank platoon or the pack platoon, with a headquarters and three 7.5 centimeter pack 40s. I'm able to, in conjunction with the machine guns and mortars, back up my infantry when they're dug in. Hopefully, to get a scenario where I get to use all sorts of these markers that say that they are, in fact, dug in. Finally, my last force. Again, from the open fire kit, I'm sure you'll recognize these. The Stug platoon here. Three, Stug, three, uh, I'm going to say H's, I believe. No, they aren't H's, they're G's. Stug G's. <clears throat> Excuse me, three of them. And zooming in over here is in my five tank platoon of Panzer IV 
H's. That's where I got the H from. Now, they're special in that the entire force, as you see here, with the exception of the tanks, are confident trained. Zooming in on my tanks, they are from uh, Corps Reserve. They're actually going to be from the 2nd Panzer Division. They're confident veterans. So they're a little bit harder to hit than the rest of them, but his anti-tank value and so forth is the same as my Stug platoon. So how do I see these guys fighting? Essentially, in any defensive battle, I take my nine platoons that I have here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I form a 10th platoon with my company 2IC forming a Kampfgruppe, basically taking some infantry and some other support weapons to come up with a fourth platoon and digging them in, as many as I can get on the board. Of course, you know, there are some scenarios where you can only take half and so forth, but that's why he is important because now I can take five on the board instead of four. Infantry dug in with machine gun, mortar, and any tank support. Basically their job, as I see it, is to, to hold terrain and to wear down the enemy. And as I get into the main defense from the covering force battle through the main defensive battle, I get into my counter moves, and that's where these guys come in. I'm going to stroke threes, a little bit armor, better armor at the front. And I got my Panzer IVs again, a little bit uh, confident veterans, a little bit harder to hit. So that's my force. 1,650 points, late war. So, have a look. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, I hope it's thumbs up. And let me know what you think of this force. And uh, failing that, I'll see all of you out in the field of battle. Take care.